skip turn. We're going to watch these now destroy my farm because that's what barbarians do best. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> assault of the barbarians, guys. Rome is on fire, guys. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Civilization 6. This is going to be part two of our all leads. All leads. I keep saying that. All roads lead to Rome series. <laughs> so basically, if you didn't watch the first episode, we are doing a domination Rome game on Civilization 6 on a small Pangea map versus five, five other civilizations. And we have found China. We're currently at war. Because in the first game, if you remember, we tried to capture one of their settlers. We did, but we failed to escape and they captured it back. So we'll probably be making peace with them soon so we can trade. But we have got grievances against them, so they won't be happy with us. But yeah, we're going to get straight back into it, guys. I hope you're having a great day. I hope things are going awesome for you out there in the world. Let's get it. The first thing on the agenda is to skip my turn. This volcano has currently become active. So if that blows, it's going to destroy my ivory farm. And probably the maze farms when I build on them anyway. But it won't hit my city, which is the main thing. The time has come to choose which of our accomplishments to commemorate in our history. This will inspire our people to continue to press forward towards a path of your right. History marches forward, and the world has right, so this is about gold and dark age, guys. So the we're in a normal age right now. Shut up. Shut up. Rule, a sound motto. Jesus. Oh my god, we've got so many things coming up. Right. This is what I was trying to show you. Right, this is the age, basically. You can get Dark Age, Normal Age, Golden Age, or Heroic Age, if you're lucky. Give you different bonuses, so... We're going to go with Free Inquiry, because every time we get a Eureka, it gives us an error score. And we seem to get quite a lot of them, guys. So we're going to go with that. With the Builder, we've got one build, so... I'm going to... Grab some spice... Spices. So I can trade these. So when I'm friends with China again... I'll be able to trade ivory and spices with them. We've got to deal with the, these are going to destroy my farm, guys, and there's nothing I can do to stop that. But we have got a new government. We are going to go with the classical republic, because it gives us amenities and extra housing. And with a new government, guys, comes extra policies. So what I normally do is I'll take 50% bonus production towards settlers and 30% towards builders because these two are really important early on. I'll keep the barbarian one down here and then we'll get extra influence towards envoys to put in the city states. That will do for our agenda right now. Skip turn. We're going to watch these now destroy my farm because that's what barbarians do best. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> Assault of the barbarians guys. Oh crap. Well, we got our first trade route established. We're going to trade with the whore down there. In addition to bringing rich... So that gives us a nice bit of gold. Now I've got to figure out how to deal with this barbarian army that's decided to attack me. Well, there goes the first set. Well, these are all going to move in. I don't know how many there are. There's obviously a barbarian camp up here and they've been gathering to attack me. See if I can save this farm. I do doubt it. Right, let's get some walls up. So all of my cities should have walls soon, which will give my cities range defense. But not only will the stationed archers shoot, the I'll be able to shoot using the walls as well, guys. So that'll be handy. Let's see what these boys do. I do need to make peace with China soon. Oh, there we go. Oh, Rome's, Rome's being assaulted. Oh, my. Oh, Jesus. Bloody right. We're going to have to get the squad over, guys. Because we are being properly attacked. Right, still, I'm going to try and deal with the archers first. That wasn't very good. Can I buy... No, I've got no money because I'm poor. How many turns for I can... I shouldn't have gone to war with him. I can make peace. And he wants to. Go for that. Right, now I can... If I make a deal with him... There you go. He would trade that with me. Three gold per turn plus 20 one-off payment. I can now buy some warriors. Go. Here we go, guys. 
Attacking the barbarians. They've been gathering up here, waiting to assault Rome. There's no city state up there either, so they're just fully gonna attack me. They're damaging my city really bad. This is not a good day in the office for Rome. Oh, go away. I'm trying to get my soldiers over here. Right. Take out these archers. Well, then walls would be finished in two turns. So if I could survive two turns, I'd be able to... I'll have walls up. Thank you. Thank you, Kublai Khan. Alright. Here we go. Oh, no. This is not good, guys. Rome's being sieged. I don't know if it's going to bloody survive. Right, please shoot. Oh, you're not going to shoot, are you? You absolute git. Right, we've got warriors here. We've got some archers. Can't attack him yet. Right, I'm going to try and weaken these guys up. I'm going to try and take out the archers. There they go. Let's weaken the hell out of them so they can only shoot one arrow. This is turning into the defense of Rome, guys. Here we go. Let's see if I can survive. This is really not a good day in the office. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Rome's getting peppered. I'm getting peppered by barbarians. Sometimes the wheel turns. I don't care about the wheel. <laughs> trying to defend my goddamn city. Oh, the, oh, yes, the walls have gone up just in time, guys. Did they just shoot my own city? Right, the walls have come up just in time, and now I can shoot. I should be able to clear them all out. Well, well, I don't get that. They must have been... Okay. We have literally just been saved by the walls being complete. Jesus, that was insane, guys. Right, let's do engineering so we can get some... Thingy, uh, some... Instruction going. I'm going to build an encampment now, guys. Encampment will also shoot. I'm going to build it up here. This is where the barbarians are coming from. So in 10 turns, we'll have an encampment that can also shoot ranged at the enemy. Okay, he's running away. <laughs> They're all running. Oh no, we're chasing you down. We are chasing you down. I'll right, station these here. Rome is on fire, guys. Rome just got absolutely annihilated. Literally, guys, them walls going up just saved us. That was crazy. Alright. Nice promotion on them bad boys. I'll chase down these archers because I don't want them escaping. They're going back to tell their friends what just happened. So I'm going to tell your friend ever come back to Rome again. He's gone in there because now I can't get him. Find time for recreation. I can't get him now because he's gone in the bloody city state. Absolute wimp. Oh, he's going to run into me. He's going to get caught. Let's leave the warriors there on defence, guys. Right, I'm going to build a granary in Medilinam. Pronounce it, it would help. Nice roads going up now. This this trailer will build a road all the way down to Lahore as well. Rome's healing. They're putting out the fires. Oh. My liege, we have We've an, got an en envoy, guys. You stick that in Lahore. Look at this. That was crazy. That got absolutely annihilated by them barbarians. That was not a good start. <laughs> 
Where did he go? I'm in his zone of control, so I can't move that much. Where did that... Oh, they must have killed him. Because they got archers there. Oh, they must have done the job for me. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to counter-attack, guys. We're going to come on over it, see if we can find this barbarian camp that just bloody attacked us. What a nice land up here, guys. I'm going to build up there. All right, let's build another settler in there. Get ready to get another city up. They have built Wuhan. Wuhan. God damn. Right on the border. All right, let's see if we can find this camp. Come on, you're not missing out, guys. We're going all out. Deal with these barbs. But I'm not being attacked like that again. Oh, the villager. So they've obviously come from up here. I need to find the camp, guys. He will leave me there. Found it. Alright. Position you there. And you there. Right. That is our mission. Take out this barbarian camp, guys. up here guys oh man right, I've got to back up you station there you come back here I'm trying to play this tactically so I can get a lot of archer fire on these enemies right, we're going to build another settler guys so we've got two settlers being produced for two new cities the Wuhan right underneath us, so we want to make sure. Netherlands! We met our second sieve. It's an honor to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. Another sieve we've met, guys, and that is another possible trade partner. Send her a delegation. She don't need horses, okay. But send you a delegation. Yeah, you don't want one, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't like me. See if I can sell him some horses, guys. Yeah, there you go. 40 gold plus 4 gold per turn for 30 turns. Thank you, Mr. Khan. Right. I'm going to put them there to protect them. Move these back one. Turn around and fire. I'm trying to move in that formation, guys, so the warriors can protect the archers. Them spearmen just messed up big time. We are beginning to attract the attention of the great people of the world. The more specialized districts we construct, the more we will draw in specialized great people to... Great people give you massive bonuses, guys. Your empire. If they if they decide they want to join you. Guys. Right, let's wipe these guys out. So they can jump right into our trap. Not plonkers. Here we go. Alright, we are going to build an... We're going to build a water mill. No, I'm going to build another builder because I've got a lot of things I need to work around here. Oh, she sent me a delegation of shoes and wine. Straight out of Amsterdam. There you go, we just entered the classical era, guys. One man's magic. Engineering. Now we can build our... Um... What are they bloody called? Aqueducts. Or baths. We have baths. But I'm going to do... Iron working. Because I want to get some legionaries. Upgrade my warriors. Right, we have a battle on our hands here, guys. I'm going to shoot back at the archers. 
I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to take these archers out. As for the warriors, we have to attack them. Come on, boys. Dig in. We got this. And they did a lot of damage to me. Christ. Well, we hurt them. We can't build anywhere that's red, guys, so... I want to build up here. Maybe over here. So we'll sleep him for now. We're going to build an archer to accompany him. I don't want to move these warriors. Go back up to our battleground. And they're going straight to my archers, look. Oh, well defended, boys. Because we're on a hill. So we're winning this war, guys. We are winning this war. Bit by bit. Alright, send you in. Finish him off. Oh, mate. Alright, let's take, damage these boys a bit. We're gonna take out a couple. Pretty sure I just told you to sleep. Alright, let's finish these off. Oh, this whole episode's been fighting... Oh, city-states has been defeated, so somebody's wiped out a city-state. Oh, they've killed my warriors. That is not good. That is not good at all. That's why we need to build legionaries, guys, because that's our special unit as Rome. Right, if I can just get my archers next turn to go in there, I'll be able to take out that barbarian camp and I'll be done with it. Just like that. 50 coins. And we got a uh, Eureka. That, guys, is the war won. We won the battle. Yeah, look, our campment's done, guys. We can actually shoot them. And we can shoot from the walls of Rome. That deals with that. Let's bring the what's left of our army back. I think they did quite well, guys. I'm quite proud of them. All right, let's have a look at this now. Yeah, we know. A civic boost. Destroyed the barbarian camp. They gave us plus two on the error score. For 32 or more, we get a. We avoid the dark age. We need 46 or above for a golden age, guys. Unmet city state's been defeated. I don't know where that is because I haven't found that yet. Is he attacking my encampment? Defense is super. Absolute donut, mate. He's dead. Right now, a new there's a new encampment right there, guys. I wanted to build as well. We have got a new. We're going to go with uh, Pinjala because he gives us a nice boost on science, and we got Wuhan to deal with. So, if we look at the loyalty. You can see that they're they're affecting us here. Obviously, we're quite dominant. We have risen by twenty six. So. That goes below 26. If it goes below zero, then we start losing our loyalty in the city. And then we could lose the city. Like, the citizens rebel. It turned into a free city. You'll probably see it over the course of this game, because it happens a lot between the enemy players. Deals with that little plonk. Ah. Alright, he's built. So, I'm going to build my first aqueduct, guys. It gives us two plus housing. There. That will be complete in four turns. And that will be our first aqueduct. That obviously provides more fresh water for the city. So I want to build here. And we've got Rotterdam. Oh, that's where Amsterdam are. Below us here. Maybe we need to come down here and build here. 
That's exactly what we need to do, guys. We need to build there. Alright, let's grab that other spice. So we can trade that with another civic. That's it, civilization. I'm going to build a bath here. We're going to do a crazy thing and build it on the volcano, guys. It will probably damage it when the volcano erupts, but it, don't take, it only takes like one turn to repair, so it's not the end of the world. Another Eureka, guys. Another error score point. Let's link these bad boys up. I need to go up here and destroy this camp if I'm going to build any further up here. I need to get on this hill so I can launch some arrows. Alright, let's build a water mill in this city, guys. Everybody's moving. We are true friends with the smaller civilizations. We appreciate that you recognize this fact. I was trying to say that I'm a smaller civilization than her. We'll see, guys. We'll see. We'll see. Let's remove the woods. Because that gives us a boost in production. Let's bring them up here. You guys stay there. We are almost ready to take that out. Right, I need to build two cities here because of the loyalty pressure that's going to be there, so... I'm going to build here because I can build an aqueduct there for fresh water. The light, this green here means it's coastal water. Obviously, this is the best place to build because this is fresh water. We've got lots of nice resources here, including iron, which we do need. So I'm going to build one city here and one city over here. And then we've got Lahore as well, which is ours, so... That give us a good um sort of defense defense against the dark arts no, defense against um those people i'm gonna build the great bath wonder there guys because i am rome so you know i've kind of got to build it haven't i don't have to but it would make sense to me too my archers are back after their barbarian battle up there oh they've actually come out to greet me Very nice of them. Not. Right, it's assault. Let's go, warriors. But these warriors, have we really got one promotion? They'll probably get promoted again soon because they've been as they've defended quite a lot here. They've been attacked constantly. Alright, archers are back in place. So are they. Settler is almost in his position. We need to get that city up before they get a city here. Their loyalty is pushed up to there. Right, there we have it, guys. We've just built Kimai. We built a government plaza. Put it next to Hanging Gardens. I'm going to get a bath going. 562 gold, guys. So I'm about to purchase a builder. If we move in there, we'll be able to take that. That's our spice farms. We're going to go and build a pasture on these sheep here, guys. Oh, where it's called. So, we are going to build a builder. And I'm going to buy some tiles, guys. Like the iron, the horses, and that. I'm going to buy one towards them. Because it expands our borders, and it gives us less issues when it comes to loyalty so I might also move no I need him there so we need to unlock another governor really guys because we've got one the governor produces the provides like plus loyalty in the cities gives them more loyalty so we've got one here and we're going to need that because of Wuhan China pushing up and we're also going to need one here because of Amsterdam who Yes, there you go. We're now officially friends. You want some spice? I don't want your open borders, mate. Oh, I'd rather have all your money. Who you got? I'll do. Two coins per turn, 115 gold, guys. It's not the end of the world. But we are now a declared friend with Amsterdam. So, when we unlock alliances, that will be 
plus. Right. Oh, the grievances have disappeared from that war, guys, so. But he's very unfriendly with me, so he obviously remembers what I did. <laughs> he remembers what I did to him. Do Amsterdam need horses? No, they don't. They got iron as well. There you go. Right. Move on. Hello, <laughs> she's moaning at me for settling too close. So if I just apologise, I get 30 diplomatic favour. And I've got to stick to the promise by not doing it, which I'm not going to do because I'm going to build here. I don't know if that's considered close to her. Closer to me, so she can't really moan at me. For Everything has its limit. Iron ore. Right, iron, guys. I'm going to start trading with Harlem. Destroy that camp, please. There we go. Another thing to add it to the timeline. We're going to build a city up here, guys. And get this iron so we can start doing that. We're doing feudalism now as well, guys, so we should be able to upgrade our builders soon. We'll do sailing so we can start fishing. Another envoy in Lahore. Let's go. Yeah, there, was a, there was a while there where I thought Rome was in a lot of trouble, but... We survived, guys. We survived. That's the main thing. Actually advising me to build there. Really. Why is it advising me to build there? Only one production. What's this? This is three production, one food. It'd be better to build there. How do you on about game? I'm probably going to build here, though. I'm going to go up here and see, see what's further up, but I think I'm going to build there. Oh, he wants more horses. 52 gold. Oh, give me all your gold. Six gold. I do. I've got enough horses, guys. I don't really need them at the moment. It is not that life oh, completely sure sailing. I'm going to get these sheep. I'm going to do writing next. We haven't done that yet. We need to start boosting our science, guys. We haven't done that yet. Let's see what's further up there. Not much. Oh, we're now working iron, guys. We officially have an iron as a strategic resource. Look at this as well, guys. This is why I like building coastal cities, because you get the natural sort of canal in the city. It's quite cool. Obviously, the inland cities don't, but... I also love, as you progress through this game, the cities just get bigger and bigger and better. And you can see how they start off, like, the early cities are little mud huts, and then they start, they basically turn into, like, what New York, what New York looks like in real life. They're like massive skyscrapers and stuff like that. But you see the buildings in the city when you build them as well. Pretty impressive. Yeah, anyway, move on. Right, so water mill done, guys. We're going to go and mine this stone, because it's right next door. Problem is, I only get uh, three builds on a builder at the moment, which is quite annoying. So I'm going to take the cows, because I've already got horses. I might just buy another builder unit, to be honest. Where do I need to build a most? Probably Rome. Spend it in Rome. Right, let's get a bath going, guys. Here. I'm going to get aqueducts in all of my cities. I don't know why it's telling me to build there. Over there. Maybe because I wouldn't be able to work that tile if I built there. I want to build nearer to the sea anyway. I want this to be a coastal city. Oh, that's why. Because it's obviously tundra up there. It's fun. What I want to do is build two cities here, guys. So we have Kumai and one here. I want Rome protected because this is obviously my capital. Which I almost lost in this bloody episode. Don't forget. Um, these are okay. I'm going to build another one over here. I'm going to have this city here. And I'm going to utilise this area up here, guys. So this should be... I should be able to take this whole top section. And then build out in the sea as well. That is the idea, my friends. Oh, we met Genghis Khan. 
See, the thing is, I left it on random, you know, so literally we don't, we have no idea who's in this game. So we met three civs so far. Hello, Genghis. Nice to meet you, sir. I don't know where writing he is, guys. Mean sharing. Got writing. I don't know where he is. He hasn't shown me, but. Ever Amsterdam there, China there. I don't think he's around me. Which is fantastic news. What are we going to build? Oh, I don't know why I'm suggesting I build there. Oh, probably because of the charming. Oh, that's got nice charming. Um. Okay. You want us to build there, we'll build there. Fine. We've got a new builder, guys. And grab these horses. And we'll come back and get that spice. Do astrology because it's only one turn. And grab these cows. Because we're going to need the food more than the horses. We've already got two now. That's how they found me. Pretty sure that was a Mongolian scout. But look, their, their army. The, the thing is with the city states is they never. They May just I stay as. That we construct a government building. I'm a doing a government building. A so, yeah, the city states they kind of just they stay as one city. They're just a city state. It's just be, it's just one city. They grow. So when people put envoys in them, the tiles grow. I think it's like one tile per envoy or something like that. Obviously, they become quite big, but they just basically build a big military and stuff like that. They're pretty cool. Although they, they do get attacked a lot by Civ, so you've already seen that one got wiped out. I think it was this episode, if I'm not mistaken. Right, we're going to do Celestial Navigation so we can start building some harbours. Let's build a granary finally in Rome. And let's build our fourth city. Fortify these boys up here for now. Or there. You never know what's coming out of the barbarians normally up here in the tundra, guys. Do some pop shots at these boys. You can kill him. Yeah, there we go. Last arrow put him away. Alright. Oh, we can use this other desert tile for a bath. Build our horses. And there's the governor we needed, guys. So we are going to take... I'm going to take Victor. Victor is um, a strategic sort of attack. He's the war governor. He gives you good war boosts and this is going to be my war city I imagine when I assault Amsterdam in the future the idea guys anyway whether it goes like that or not I don't know All right there's a pasture what's the point in building a damn pasture when the cows aren't in it <laughs> like seriously I mean what is the actual point in that Look at this crazy scout. Absolute madman. I'm out here bloody attacking me. Come on, boys. That scout literally killed two of my warriors. Oh, that was worth doing. I'm going to grab that in a sec. See what that's got for me. Oh, he's sending me a nice delegation, guys. Awesome. What's that going to give me? 65. Fantastic. Alright, I'm going to build a campus. The best place. Plus one science. I'm not building it there because it gets constantly destroyed by a volcano. Oh, it's plus two. Oh, that's plus two. I'm going to build it here, guys. Plus two science down there. I'm going to start upgrading my science a little bit. Because we are currently only on 15. Because we've been fighting a bloody war. I mean, we're doing it right in the overall scheme of things. Amsterdam are killing it. It's 36 per turn. We've um held back a little bit. Safe to say. Right. Let's do that. Let's bring these back. So they can guard the gap. The other spices. Should have enough to trade spice with these guys as well, no? 
There we go, you want eight turns. Jeez. How much can you give me for that? Nothing. What about spice? Oh, I'm already trading spice with you. See if I can trade ivory. No, he's already got it. About China. No, they've already got spices, didn't they? Ivory? Nope. That's all I can trade for now, guys. Keeping the rest for ourselves. See what I might do. I might bring him back. Because next turn, we can upgrade. There's our spice farms, looking quite nice. Got our horse, horses, encampment. Got one farm, we need to increase that soon. There's the hanging gardens, government plaza, the aqueduct, or the bath. Got the great bath coming here in five turns, guys. Right, I'm going to build um, a legionary. Start building some units, guys. Because. No. Okay, no, I'm going to. Let's build a granary first. Focus on food. I was going to build an encampment, but obviously my territory expands and I want to build it closer to their base if I can. We've got these two cities here. Well, I think the Mongolian scout's trapped. If it can't go in their territory. It's quite funny. Well, we need two more iron. So next turn, we can upgrade them to legions. How long have we, how long have we been recording for? Ah, quite a while. What? Oh, you stood on my bloody campus. That is really annoying. Get off the campus. When they stand on it, it stops production. It's so annoying, guys. Set your course by After we just completed Celestial Navigation. And we can continue building that campus. We haven't got an archer in there. Isn't good. Right. Here we go, guys. We're about to upgrade to Legionaries. There they are. Legions. The famous unit of the Romans. I'm going to bring these archers down here because I'm having a few problems with scouts. Let's do currency so we can start building some commercial hubs. Cavalry, <laughs> you feel, is an embarrassment, but thankfully a small one. Thanks, Genghis Khan. You'll pay for that one day, mate. That's because I don't have any cavalry. Being trolled by Genghis Khan, guys. Alright. Take him out. The archers in the city. And then we will be ready. We'll put these in here for now, guys. Who the hell are they? Oh, they're Vatican, aren't they? Yeah, I wonder who they were. Yet in this captious and intenable and there it is, guys. I and I'm probably going to end the episode of that, my friends. My love, and like not to lose you can watch the Great Bath be built. This life, is our second wonder. Religious in mine error, I adore the sun that looks upon his worshipper, but knows of him no more. How beautiful is that, guys? So we have built the Great Bath, which is pretty fitting, considering we are Rome, so it was a good job we got that. Look how nice it makes the city look as well. We've got the city... The Great Bath is almost bigger than the damn city. <clears throat> with the aqueduct, we've got the local volcano. It's basically Pompeii. But yeah, things are going well, guys. But we are going to end the episode there, because this has been quite a long one again. Fortify these boys in here. I'm going to bring these out. Because these, these can be forts, by the way, guys. Next episode, we are going to send our legionaries down here. To deal with this barbarian camp that keeps attacking me. I may also assault Wuhan. Because I don't like how close it is. So we'll see about that guys. But yeah, we're going to end the episode that. I hope you enjoyed episode number two of our Roman series on civilization. If you did, 
please leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the game. Let me know if you are enjoying the series. If you're new, subscribe, my friends. Stay awesome. Have a great day. Peace.